AYTPC, good evening, Ordinary Piper. Come to you from the Colorado room where it is getting really cold. So I got my hat on, got my fire going. And tonight I'm trying something brand new. I am trying Squadron Leader. Yep, this is what I got the other day in the package uh, in my trade with Patrick. And I thought I'd give it a try. Samuel Gaywith, Squadron Leader, one of the most reviewed tobaccos out there in YTPC. I'd never tried it before. And before I open that up tonight, I am smoking one of my very favorite pipes. This is my Previn Holm Fancy Sandblast. I got this one a long time ago. It's made in Denmark. One of my favorite pipes, just chunky and heavy, but still a great smoke. I love to smoke Englishes in this one. That's why I picked it. It's got a really nice stem to it. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But even the end has this uh, rustication and sandblast to it that I love. The end of the stem. So great pipe, really like fits your hand well. Nice thick bowl so it doesn't get hot. Uh, just a great pipe. And in it, I've got some Squadron Leader. I'm about halfway through the bowl. I want to share my thoughts with you. Again, this is my first time. And taking some advice from N.W. Piper, I've been trying to make sure that my palate is clean. Drinking water instead of like a bourbon or something else tonight because I've really been struggling with this one. I've been struggling to taste it the way that I want to, the way that I had hoped to, because in this tin, I smell so much. You know, I smell the bright and the dark Virginias. I smell the Latakia. I smell the Turkish leaf. I love this art that comes with this tin. So creative. I actually just love the detail. That's what I love about pipe smoking. I love that it's not a cigarette. It's not, you know, smoke it fast and throw it away, but there's an art to it. There's a beauty to it, a poetry to it, a poetry to pipe smoking. Uh, so I love this little lithograph that they've got, this card. It's a good touch. Uh, and then inside, I'll tell you, it's just beautiful. It's really compact, the way that they've got it in here. I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, this is really tight and uh, just beautiful colors, but really hard to even pinch and get out of there. But uh, nice uh, ribbon cut, long ribbons, beautiful color. Look at that, gorgeous. But okay, when I go to smell it in the 10 note, I have so many flavors. I've got like a spiciness, like an allspice or like the top of an everything bagel. I've got like a woodsiness or, or a pine tree. You know what it reminds me of? There's also kind of a spicy sweetness. Like if you've ever burned frankincense, incense, like pure frankincense, not the stuff that you would get, you know, cheaply, but like actual pieces of frankincense right off of the tree, uh, which we've had in my church for a censer, uh, for, you know, for the, the prayers. Uh, but it smells like it's got this like sweet, spicy frankincense note to it, which if you've ever smelled that, isn't sweet like an aromatic, but it's got a spicy sweetness to it. Yeah, this kind of musty, woodsy English. It's, it's a beautiful English. With that Turkish on top, kind of a, a Mediterranean flair to it. Um, almost, uh, I don't know if this is like, I'm getting like a baba ganoush, like an eggplant-y, uh, Mediterranean, 
but you've also got the dark fruit like a like a prune or or some kind of uh dried raisin man i just i really love the 10 note i get so much out of the 10 note and that's what i that's what i'm picking up but okay so i'm halfway through the bowl and I'm having a very different experience with Squadron Leader. Um, let me light it up and share with you. I'd love to know what you guys think. Okay. So when I'm smoking it, um, first of all, it's a little wet. It's got a little bit of a gurgle, uh, smoking just a little wet at the bottom of the bowl, which maybe, maybe I didn't pack it quite right. Maybe I, I, I needed to work on that a little bit, but I smell and taste on the retro hail, like, like French baguette or like a sourdough bread kind of that sourness. I don't get any sweetness on the tongue, but in the retro hail, I get some of that dark fruit. It's not a hot smoke. It's nice and cool. Okay, so here's the trouble I'm having with it. It's elusive. Like everything I smell in the tin, just I'm not getting all of it in, in the experience of smoking it itself. I'm not getting the, uh, the allspice. I'm not getting the everything bagel, kind of the complexities of it. Um, I'm getting a little pepper, kind of like on the tongue. Yeah, but it's just elusive. It's lighter than I thought it would be. Based on the 10 note, I was expecting it to be kind of complex, um, pretty deep, uh, maybe more of, a, of an experience but it's really mellow. It's really like the Nick hit is not high at all. The, um, you know, compared to other Englishes that I've smoked, like, like the Dunhill 965, maybe not a fair comparison, but like that English is heavier and it's complex and it's got so many different uh, notes to it. Squadron Leader, for me, it's like, it's all on the retro hail. It's all on the retro hail. I'm not getting the same uh, taste on the palate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Englishes. So I'm liking this. I don't think this would be my go-to though. Like if I had to choose between, you know, the, the 965 and Squadron Leader, this is a lighter weight, like maybe on a warmer day or um, if I'm, there is a woodsiness. and that breadiness. I like it. Don't get me wrong at all, I like it. And this pipe is, is clean, it's not ghosted. I haven't smoked it in quite a while, so I feel like I'm getting a fair assessment of it. But Squadron Leader, what do you think? I mean, do you like it? Are you tasting something different than I'm tasting? What's been your experience of it? Because 
you know, admittedly, I'm a, I've got a newer palette, but I had high expectations for Squadron Leader. So comment below. Let me know what you taste. Let me know what you think. And um, also, if you have a Preben home, I'd love to know more about your pipe and what your experience has been with the Preben home. This is one of my favorite pipes. I really love it. So, all right, Ordinary Piper. That's all I wanted to share for tonight. Hope you guys are doing well out there in the YTPC world. Signing off and looking forward to getting your comments and seeing what I can learn from you about Squadron Leader. Thanks a lot.